Welcome back, everybody, to the MLB Show franchise here with the Cincinnati Reds. So we are in the month of August, uh, looking pretty pretty good, 64-59. and 59, A very surprising year. Did not expect this. We're actually in the uh, wild card chase. But I think for this one, we're going to switch it up a little bit. We're going to go down to the minor leagues and take a look at a couple guys that possibly could be the future maybe next year, even sooner than that. First is Julio Ruiz. You see, he is uh, one of our top draft picks last year. I believe the first pick we ever taken. So we're going to take a look at him. Same with Jonathan Indy. I'm not sure if he's going to be ready yet for next year, but uh, maybe in a year and a half he could be there. We'll see, uh, play a couple games with him. And then Tyler Stevenson, one of our top catching prospects, B overall. He's only 23 years old, three years old. Good fielding. He's got a good arm. So I'd like to see what he can do. And uh, he possibly could be somebody up next year, depending what happens with Tucker Barnhart. And possibly what happens to the rest of the season. Maybe put him on the 40-man September call. Something like that. We'll see. But we'll jump into a game here. And it's really, I just want to see also, maybe a couple other surprises. We'll see. As Jonathan India is going to start this one off. And I think also... We'll get into this first this first game. is probably just going to be mainly about the hitters here as India fouls that one away. And I think we'll pitch a game also uh, with Hunter Green. Obviously, he's probably our top prospect overall. So I'd like to see what he has as well. Get to get him into a pitch with the game because uh, there's a really good chance that the man here, Julio Ruiz, and Hunter Green are the guys that are going to be a part of this ball club next season for sure so uh we're gonna see what he has in the pitching and hopefully to see what ruiz has he rips this one down the third and that is gonna be a routine play but still hit pretty well see he's struggling a little bit as we'll fast forward a little bit sunny gray on the mound uh interested to see what sunny gray could do but i don't I'm a, don't expect anything i was hoping maybe he would be a guy that we could uh you know rehash you know the past with but it, obviously it's really turned out to be nothing too much as he's down in the minors as Stevenson uses a little bit of that speed there for a catcher and he beats that one out and that's going to be a base hit so yeah somebody like this Sherman Johnson just an you know interesting guy is he you know a, what you would call a quad a player a guy that's really not major league ready but a you know a little bit better for triple a I don't know as he goes down there looking on a really tough pitch and here comes Aquino. This is a guy that's actually been in the majors here. We, he's been up with us as a backup fielder as he rips that one foul. He has some power, and he just swings through the fastball there. And that will be strike three as we'll move along here. So not the greatest start to uh, this minor league game here as we're just, you know, hopefully uh, just see what these guys do. I'm not really – it's not all about – I don't want to, you know – uh, I mean, I would love to have great success with these guys in this game, but it's just trying to get used to, you know – Kind of their stance, their, you know, what they're all about here. As here comes Jonathan Indian, then get anything in his first to bat. It's going to foul away that fastball that was just sitting right down the middle. Cannot take advantage of that. So here comes the one two pitch, and he goes down looking on the high slider. He can't believe it's strike three. He's confused. But uh, I guess they're calling that high pitch. Obviously, called it earlier as well. As you can see, Sonny Gray is absolutely struggling. As it gives up there two more, and it's a 4 nothing lead. And that'll bring up Julio Ruiz, who uh, grounded out the third, his first at bat. So 1-2 count here to Ruiz. He's going to hit that one off the end of the bat. That is not going to go anywhere, and that will be an out there. So Ruiz so far 0 for 2. Um, haven't seen anything really big from him yet. Obviously, the, the nice hit down to third, but... Hopefully you've seen a little bit more power as Stevenson gets a hold of one. That's going to be deep, and it's going to be a routine fly out there for out number two here in this fourth inning as we'll continue to sim ahead. Obviously taking out uh, Sonny Gray. I need to get him out of there. So we'll head to the other seventh. Five nothing. We'll bring in Julio Ruiz, his third at bat, and this time he rips into one in not as much as I thought. I thought that was going to be a... Uh, Nice hit there. That was a slider inside just waiting on it. He hit it pretty well. Just went nowhere. So Tyler Stevenson coming up for his third at bat. And Stevenson's going to hit this one. And finally, there we go. There's a base hit. So finally, one of these guys gets a hit. Somebody gets on here in the seventh. And here comes Sherman Johnson once again. So he, uh, last time we saw him, he went down looking on that pitch. Now he has two men on here. 
with one down. He's going to rip this one into right, and it's going to be over the fielder's head. And actually, did he catch that? He did. He caught it. And now they're going to double him up there at second base. Wow. Thought that was maybe over his head. It was not. It was caught. He gets doubled up there. And that's how that inning ends. And you can see uh, Jesus Reyes really struggling there. Lighting up two. Now a 7 nothing lead here. And I'm not sure. I think I'm not sure. We might pinch it. We might sim the rest of this. Maybe get a couple more bats. As we'll bring in Stevenson here into the ninth, just to see what he has. He's been the, the one main guy here so far that has had actually a couple of hits here in this ball game. Ruiz and Indy have struggled a little bit. Absolutely not getting anything. So here's Stevenson as he rips into this one. That's not going to be caught. That is going to be down for a uh, hit there. Stevenson on his way to second base. So, so far, Tyler Stevenson really showing himself here in this kind of, you know, showcase type game. So, liking what I'm seeing there. So, uh, let's see if we can actually get a run on the board here. And that's a base hit, and that's exactly what we'll get. We'll actually get a run here, so we won't, you know, get skunked, as you would say. Uh, no, we're not going to get shut out here, so at least get a run on the board here in the ninth. I don't think I don't expect a comeback of any sorts, but you never know. So, I'll bring up Sherman Johnson here. Another at bat, has a slider, does get into this one. It is deep, but not deep enough. And that will be the out, and that will be the ball game here in this minor league kind of showcase game as we're taking a look at some of these prospects. Not really too much to go off of. India 0 for 4, Ruiz 0 for 4. Stevenson 3 for 4, uh, had himself a double. Um, yeah, not too much else. Hawkins 2 for 4, he was okay. He's the one that had the RBI single there at the end. Sonny Gray, just absolutely terrible. Uh, not much there. So I think now what we'll do is go forward a couple more days and then we'll get into a start with Hunter Green. And obviously we'll continue to bat with Ruiz, Indian, and Stevenson and see what they have. So here's Hunter Green, 5-5. Five and five. ERA obviously elevated in the AAA. And same with the whip. But, I, you know, we'll see. I'm not really too concerned. If I can perform well with him in this ball game, obviously it just gives me more hope for the future as that's the first batter and he just goes down looking there right perfect two seamer inside for the first out and uh, his first strikeout here so one two pitch in the next batter and see you later strike 397 on the inside corner not much you can really do about that as now we get to the third batter two two count and nice change up perfect pitch strikes out the side here to start out this ball game and here comes julio ruiz actually has 28 stolen bases that's I didn't think he was that fast, but, you know, that's kind of surprising. As you can see, yeah, if he had a lot of speed, you would think he'd be, maybe beat that out, get close to it. Does not. Grounds that one out. And that's going to bring up Tyler Stevenson here. So Stevenson on his first pitch. He's going to rip this one right up to the center fielder, right at him. Good contact, but right at the center fielder for out number three. So we head to the second inning. Hunter Green now. Strikeout number four. So four straight batters. Go downs on strikes. Can we continue this? Next batter up. And that's going to stop there. As that's going to be a base hit. So uh, Columbus gets their first hit of the ball game and uh, stops that strikeout streak going there. And let's see what Hunter Green can do. So comes back two pitches later. Gets a 6-4-3 double play. And he gets out of the second inning. So nice job there uh, getting what you need. So we head to the third. And here's Hunter Green getting a uh, ball there very close. So we got two down here in the third, 3-2 count here for Green. And the pitch, and see you later, sit down. Perfect change up there on the outside corner. And uh, good start for five strikeouts here for the first three. So we're going to actually sim a little bit, see what he can do here in the sim. Gets another strikeout, ground out, and another strikeout. So he is just dominating, and we'll step into the uh, batting here. With Jonathan India. So let's see what India can do here. And he rips that one. That one is the, uh, that's what you want to see. That is ripped double there for sure. As he's on his way to second base. And let's see if he can get something going with these young guys. So I think Ju uh, Julio Ruiz will come up next. But India, nice to see there. Nice rip for a double. And here comes Ruiz. Can he knock him in? Can we get a run? Can we get some run support? As Ruiz hits that one. And that's going to be down for a hit. Obviously, India had to stay just to make sure that wasn't caught. But that is a hit there. So Ruiz is on. And that will bring up Stevenson. And hopefully he can do something about this line out in the first. 
Uh, had a good game last time, three for four. So can he get a hit? As Stevenson's going to hit into, and that is going to be a routine double play there. And that is an any killer, that is for sure. As we wouldn't get anything there with two on and no out. And now let's see. Hunter Green just continuing to dominate, though, as that is another strikeout, his eighth of the game. Just need to get this guy some run support. As now it's a bet with two down here in the fifth 1-0 count, and that's going to be hit, and that's going to be trouble. So this will be the first real test here for Hunter Green, as that's only his uh, second hit allowed in this ball game, and a man in scoring position for the first time here in the fifth with two down. So can he get out of this mini jam here? Pitch there is going to be inside for ball three. So 3-2 three, count here. Pitch, strike three, looking, running fastball right in there. Gets out of it with his ninth K. And now we'll continue simming along here. So what I've seen from Hunter Green so far has been fantastic. Outstanding. His uh, stuff is great. The velocity, the location. So this is uh, exactly what I wanted to see as he lets up a run there. But, uh, you know, only one run so far allowed. I just wish the offense could get something going here. So here comes Julio Ruiz. We're in the seventh inning, still one nothing game. As Ruiz, there we go, rips that one. That is going to be a base hit. I was hoping that would at least get him maybe into the corner for two. But Ruiz, a little bit better. Better at bats in the first game there, getting a base hit. And now we got one down here, 2-0 count. And that's going to be down for another base hit. So let's see if we can get Hunter Green or get him something. Don't want to get him a loss here, only allowing one run. Want to get here something. So here comes Aquino, two down, 0-2 count, still two on. Pitch, and he say they went. He said he swung. Oh. So Aquino goes down, and now Hunter Green still on the mound. Energy running low, but still none a problem whatsoever. Gets himself another strikeout. Can't get anything from the batters here as Hunter Green... We're going to have to take him out. Obviously, uh, excellent start there. Excellent start, though. Cannot complain. Only allowing one run on four hits. I believe he had maybe 11 or 12 strikeouts. We'll have to see. So we'll get into the ninth, and hopefully maybe we can get him a run so he doesn't get a loss out of this. As Jonathan India is going to hit that one up the middle, and that will be a base hit. So we just keep getting hits, just getting nothing out of it. So uh, let's see if we can actually maybe get a gapper or something here. So here comes Ruiz, two hits so far in this second ball game. We play with him. Pitch here, and he's going to oh, just get jam shot it. But it's going to get down. And then India. Oh. Man, that's disappointing. So India was just standing there, wasn't sure if it was going to be caught, gets down, and then kind of gets stuck in between. Just a base running error there. Uh just a base running mistake, and then that will be the ball game. So he lose one nothing here. Hunter Green gets a really difficult loss on his record. I'm not really too concerned about that. Obviously, he pitched really, really well. Eight innings, 13 Ks, four, only four hits allowed, one earned. Can't really complain about that. I think I saw everything I wanted to see there. That was fantastic. Um... As for the hitting, a little bit disappointing, but a lot better there in the second game with Hunter Green and Ruiz. Stevenson had a pretty good game. And obviously, Julio Ruiz is actually on the 40-man. Um, his overall was just so good that I had a feeling he would be taken in the Rule 5 draft. So um, he's on the 40-man. He will be in the September call. So I think whenever we reach September, we'll probably have a, you know, we'll have him in a game for his Major League debut. And... Uh, he's going to be a part of the team next year regardless. I I'm not, you know, worried about his stats, just his overall, his potential. He's going to be available next year. Um, whether that's Votto being gone or Votto being retired, I think if Votto doesn't retire, Ruiz will be up. But maybe he's he can play left field, so I think we maybe we put him in left. Um, obviously, Tyler Naquin's there right now, but put him in left field, depending what happens with Votto. You never know what's going to happen there. Um he could retire. Was he 36 to 37 years old? So either way, I think we'll be good. Even if he doesn't retire, Ruiz will be there. If he retires, it just opens up another spot. He goes back. He plays his regular position at first, and possibly somebody else um, can come up, or we keep with Naquin. I don't know. 
Uh, hopefully we can finish out this season well, though, and maybe we can make a playoffs. Make make the playoffs. Who knows? It'd be it'd be crazy, but anything can happen. So that's what will we'll go on probably next time as we'll get closer and closer just to see if we can make the playoffs. So that's going to do it for this one. Thank you guys so much for all the support. Uh, if you please leave a like, comment, subscribe. I will see you in the next one. You guys have a good one. Bye-bye.